today's video is a mukbang video um, as you can see I got some steak that steak look huge on camera but it don't look whatever anyway <laughs> steak and corn and mashed potatoes I uh, got a little bit of onions on my steak if y'all been watching my cooking videos y'all would know by now that I love me some onions, honey. So, I'm just going to say my prayers and I'm about to dive in, y'all. Amen. All right. So, it's a couple things that I want to talk about. <laughs> oh, and um, I got me a little drinky drink here. This is uh, Bacardi White Rum and... Um, I got a, a Kiwi Lemonade Calypso. And uh, I got a, a bottle of water. So that's what I'm drinking on. So yeah, like I was saying, I got a couple things I wanna discuss. Let me take a couple bites here first. That's a shame how I do my little shoulder dance when it's good. <laughs> I always cook good meals. that I don't have a nice gentleman to cook for but you know how that is which that brings me to my first subject dating oh, dating 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 mm -mm -mm. it's hard these days honey It is not easy. Times have definitely changed. And they times have changed for the worse, if you ask me. They have really changed for the worse. It's hard <laughs> to find somebody decent nowadays. If you blessed enough, to find somebody decent in your life, then, you know, hey, that's a good thing. But, uh, it don't work that way for everybody. It definitely, 
it's not working that way for me. <laughs> but um, as far as dating, I would love to start dating again. On one hand, but on the other hand, honey, <laughs> it's it's difficult to meet a decent man. I don't know. The thirst is really real out here. Um, I mean, I meet men. Don't get me wrong. I meet them and whatever. But it's like I quick, I quickly find out that they ain't about nothing. They don't be about nothing. <laughs> I swear. They either be thirsty to try to have sex, like, all fast. Like, I don't know you. <laughs> and I am not about to allow you in my space. You know, I am a single woman. I live alone. And so I'm not about to allow, just allow you in my space. And I don't know you. Or some of them, they'll be honest. Some of them be having women. Some of them be having wives. <laughs> it's crazy. And they'll let you know up front. It's like, I, I respect your honesty, but guess what? I see no benefits to being your side piece. Okay? You cute, but you ain't that cute. Understand that I am a 40-year-old woman, okay? I am no, no spring chicken. I have been on this earth a very long time. And, um, I don't care that you cute attractive that's not enough honey <laughs> i mean you got to bring some real stuff to the table besides that i don't know if y'all um saw my live on my old channel but I met a guy, um, and um, he seemed nice and everything, but I quickly found out that he wasn't that nice, honey. Um, so I gave him my number because he seemed nice. I said, okay, uh, I am open to dating again, so let me give him a shot. Oh, man. <laughs> I ended up regretting that because the first thing, the first text message that he decided to send me is, let me come over and eat that ass. Like, really? Let me come over and eat that ass. Like, are you serious? I just met you. Uh, maybe about two hours ago. The first thing that you say to me through text message, let me come over and eat that ass. That's why I say it's hard out here. It is hard out here. I don't got time for that kind of nonsense. I don't. I don't. I really don't. And then it's another guy that I met. 
And he was very, he's very handsome, very, very handsome. Very handsome. Tall, slim. I prefer tall and slim dudes. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, I would date somebody my my height or shorter. I would, because height is not a real big deal to me. But you know, if I could have it my way, I like them. My number one choice, should I say, would be tall and slim. But anyway, he's very handsome. Um, and I asked him how old he was. He said that he was 31. And so that kind of was like, tripped me out right there because I normally don't, I don't like younger dudes. I'm gonna be honest, I do not like them younger. I prefer them to be a little older, older than me. I mean, I'll, I'll go up, I'll accept somebody who's even probably about 10, 15 years older than me. I would. So, I just have an old school spirit about myself. I like old school music and, you know, I just like the old school. The way things was good like back in the good old days you know so I would vibe very well with somebody who is a little older than me not too much older where I feel like I'm dating my grandfather or something but I would say, I would say maybe about 50. That's the day. That's, hey, that's as far as I'm willing to go. <laughs> about 50. But, um, so I decided to give this young man a shot or whatever. He, like I said, he's very handsome. Um,. A decent job. Um, and uh, he seemed real nice. He had some good conversation. But the only thing about it is, um, I don't know. Maybe it's because of this new generation stuff. But back in my day, we used to pick up the phone and call people and talk and actually get to know one another this new generation they will text 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 and don't get me wrong ain't nothing wrong with texting to me but i find something wrong when that's all you do is text don't get me wrong he called me maybe about three times but mostly all he does is text just text, text, text. Let me cut into this steak. I'm just no I'm just ignoring the hell out of this steak. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with me? This is the star of the show, and I'm just ignoring this. I'm just ignoring the hell out of the steak. What is wrong with me? <laughs> Y'all do me a favor and tell me in the comments how do y'all like y'all steak? Me, I prefer medium well. Not medium, medium well. 
That's what I prefer. So good. I put some good seasoning on that. So good. Medium well, just like I like it, honey. I tell you what though, if I ever do meet a decent man, you know, he won't be satisfied on the food tip. I mean, he won't be disappointed on the food tip. My bad. That's what I meant to say. Cause I be in here throwing down, honey. I mean, throwing down. <laughs> for myself. Yep. He would not be disappointed on the food tip, honey. Sometimes I be cooking so good and I be like, oh, too bad I don't have nobody to share this with. Um, but like I said, they don't know how to act these days. I don't know why I keep on running into the, the I don't know, the guys who uh, don't know how to treat a woman. But I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing, I'm not the type that's going to accept anything just to say I have a man. I would never. I would never. <laughs> I can't imagine it. I would never. I would rather just be single. I swear, I would rather just be single than to put up with just anything. Any old thing just to say I have a man. No. <laughs> mm -mm. No, sir. No, sir, no, ma'am, honey. Mm -mm. Nope. Thank God I'm the type of person where... Is it about to rain? Yeah, I think I hear raindrops. Anyway, I'm the type of person. I know how to have fun by myself, honey. I will sit up here with my drink and my music, and I will get to painting on myself, building my portfolio. Call up one of my friends on speakerphone. Watch a movie on Netflix. Go hang out with one of my friends or uh, my brothers. Shoot, honey, I don't. I don't need a man to completely to complete me. 
I am just fine. I mean, to, it would be nice to have one today. Yes, it would. But my life is not going to end. It's not going to come to an end. If I don't have one around. I know how to entertain myself. But yeah, honey. Enough about these crazy Negroes out here. <laughs> but one last thing about that, the one I just mentioned. He's very handsome, but all he do is text. And I just feel like you can't really get to know anybody through text messages all the time. I feel like you need to at least have a couple phone conversations. Oh yeah, and that's another thing. It's been about a month and he haven't asked me on no date yet. Like, what is going on with that? <laughs> what is going on with that? Like, I'm he about to uh, he about to uh, make the block list. In all honesty, he probably should have already made the block list. <laughs> but it's whatever. Um. So enough about that. Another subject I wanted to talk about. is, well, briefly talk about, because I don't want to get too deep into it. <sighs> it's my night off, honey. Well, my, yeah, I'm off tomorrow, whatever. And, yeah, I don't want to dwell too much on this. But, work. <sighs> How are things going at my my job, I've, I've been at this job since um, January the 28th. Since January the 28th, I've been at this job. And it's going okay. I'm going to be honest. It's not like my dream job. But I am thankful for this job because it pays decent. Um, the commission is okay. Um... So far, but it's just, <laughs> okay, let me put it to you like this, honey. I got a lot of steak left. Anyway, let me put it to you like this. Okay, I work as a customer service agent in a call center. I'm not going to say where I work, but I'll put it to you like this. In my job department, it is our job to um, talk, pretty much talk the customers out of um, disconnecting their services. I'll say that. It is our job to Talk them out of disconnecting their services. Which, um, most of the time, is not an easy task. I'm going to be honest with you. It ain't easy. But, um, you know, you, you do, I do my best to push through it. You know what I'm saying? Um... It'd be crazy. We get cussed out. We get hung up on. Um, they tell us um, when the customers are trying to um, 
discontinue their services, um, that we should try at least like three save attempts to get them to not discontinue their services. So basically, it's like, um, hey, um, I'm calling to disconnect my services today. So here I go. Um, oh, sure, I can help you with that. So what made you come up with the decision to disconnect your services today? That's my professional voice. Don't judge me. So what made you come up with the decision to disconnect your services with us today? Uh, the price is too high. It's steady going up. I can't afford it. I got this going on. I got that going on. Okay, I could definitely understand that, but uh, we can definitely get you set up with a cheaper bundle. No, I want to disconnect. Okay, but um, I can see that your bill right now is $174. I can definitely get you down to 109 No, thank you. We're just going to go ahead and disconnect. Okay, but what makes you not want to go ahead and, and get these savings today? It's a lot cheaper than what you were paying. God damn it, I said that I'm not interested in your services anymore. Disconnect, damn it. <laughs> you know what? After that, I just go ahead and do what they said do. Okay? Look, after one or two attempts, I feel like that's enough. If they said go ahead and disconnect that shit, disconnect it, okay? Especially if they've come to the point where they are yelling and stuff like that. I mean... Don't get me wrong, I don't mind the yelling and cussing or whatever. They cuss me out or whatever. That don't bother me. I don't take it personal because I know that it's not me that they're upset with, per se. It's more the company that, you know, and the company policies and what they make us do that makes them upset. And so, I don't take it personal. As a matter of fact, I kind of find it funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when they get to cussing and stuff, I go ahead and I disconnect. I do what they say do after that. Like, ain't no sense in, like, you can't force these people to keep their services. You can't at the end of the day. You can try. And I make two tries. Two. That is my limit. <laughs> before I just go ahead and I just say, hey, I do what those people ask me to do. Okay? And so, that's, you know, a little stressful how they push us to basically harass these customers into keeping their services or whatever. And, um, you know, basically... We get paid an hourly wage, and then we get paid permission. I'm um, permission. Woo! <laughs> we get paid commission um, based on how many customers we're able to save. And so, yeah. So it's a little stressful to you know. We try our hardest to to get these customers to keep their services. Um, but don't get me wrong, like we have some customers that are very nice and easygoing and, um, and they are happy to be presented with better deals than, you know, what they are paying or whatever. And so, huh, I'd be happy to get those calls. But some of them will cuss you out, honey. <laughs> yeah, so. Other than that, the job is okay. It's not my dream job. 
um, on a scale of one to 10, if I can rate it, with one being the worst and 10 being the best, I would probably give this job a 6.5. I'm just be honest. And I would say a 6.5 based on, you know, what we have to do. Um, but the pay, I would, the pay, I would give it about, um, a nine. It's decent. But anyway, I done got full. I got some corn, uh, left and a big old piece of steak left. So, uh, I'll probably eat that for breakfast or whatever. <laughs> um... So I'm pr pretty much going to end the video right here. <laughs> um, probably about to continue to get my drink on or whatnot. Probably try to come on live here. Um, I only got 100 subscribers to this new channel, and which that ain't a lot. But hey, I am grateful for it. I am grateful for each and every one of my 100 subscribers. Um, I hope that I continue to get more subscribers to this new channel. Um, I do have a makeup video dropping tomorrow. So it's going to be another fantasy makeup look. So if y'all enjoy my, my little, uh, fantasy costume makeup looks, y'all be looking forward to that video tomorrow. And it's going to be a cute one, honey. It's going to be so cute. So, I will be dropping that video tomorrow. Tomorrow evening. But, huh, that's pretty much all for this. Much love to all my Chanelis. I thank each and every one of y'all. Um, the ones that came back, new ones. I appreciate all of y'all. Much love to y'all. I hope everybody has a good, safe weekend. And um, I will catch y'all on the next video. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure y'all thumbs up this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, y'all. All right, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.